arrived in Darwin. My first stop, Tackleworld Cooling, and I'm so excited because Steve Compain, he's got the boat fired up, Arafura Blue Water Charters, and the fish, they're snapping. Today we are fishing off Darwin, it is a magnificent day, glass calm, I'm with Tom Hughes. Now Tom, my big question, what were you doing two years ago? Uh, climbing around in roof spaces mate. Electrician? Yeah. And then you saw the light, you thought oh, I want to come and work with Paul. Was it the greatest decision of your life? Probably the greatest decision of your life mate, I absolutely make your life a breeze I think. Hmm. Let's fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Tom was the iFish Apprentice. And he actually moved up in my world about two weeks ago. I remember when I got my phone out one night at your place and you stopped being iFish Apprentice Tom in my phone and actually become Tom, is it William Hughes? Thomas William Hughes, mate. And what, what, were you, what were your parents gonna call your middle name? Because I find this story very interesting. <laughs> well, Dad, uh, Dad's a bit of an Aussie character. I was gonna be Thomas Lemmington and my sister was gonna be Laura Pavlova. Tom's dad, you are a very, very cool man. We've got a few crew on board, including my son over there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes. Oh. That's a good fish. That's solid. <laughs> and a few of the boys are hooked up in front of us. And we actually work in the theory, Tom, that if you're out in the boat, you might as well have a good time, eh? 100%. Oh, this is big. Oh, dropped it. Oh, look at that rod tip. There is an absolute oh. monster <laughs> swimming around the boat. <laughs> and you know what? It is so good. And we have this theory, Tom, the more baits down there, the more bites you're gonna get. Yeah. Oh, like well, that one. We go. This is just. Ooh. Oh, that's solid, mate. That's got some weight. To I it. think you've got the plug. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's big. That is big. You might have a Dewey there, mate. I hope now, so. Now, just watch our lines. Are they gonna come under? I think. Is it that way? This way? Take your time, Paul. Just relax, mate. We'll get it done. Other way. Other way, Paul. Over. Other way. Under. <laughs> so we that's go. it. We're free. I think we're good now. If you're ever in that situation too, always important to remember, the light braid will cut the heavy braid every time under tension. Uh, you do all sorts of fishing time, all sorts of diving. Anything to do with the ocean. Yep. I do, mate. I absolutely love it. And what sort of fishing do you love? Any fishing, seriously. I used to think the only kind of fishing was this, dropping big baits to the bottom. Yep. I moved to Victoria and realised not as many big fish as other parts of Australia. So uh, now I'm stoked when I catch a small brown in a stream. It's pretty anything, cool. Absolutely anything. One day I will take you out into Portfoot Bay on my boat and catch you a snapper. I've got colour here. I don't know what. Oh, oh it's, it's a like dewy. It's big and silver. It's a big dewy. Oh. Nice. And I reckon. Good job. I reckon you've got one just a little bit bigger. And this is so ironic. Last time we filmed together, we caught big black dews. Actually, they were silver dews. Silver dews. West Australian dewies, mate. Just gold. That's a beautiful dewy. <laughs> Mate, oh, I reckon that's what I'm I reckon have. you might have won the same. Ah. Yours is looking very white. Oh, I see what is red. It red? I it's see a red. red. I see red. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh it's a nanny. <laughs> Look at the size of it's this. It's a nanny. big nanny. Well done, mate. It is an absolute <laughs> uh, donkey. It's sort of a bit of chaos here, Tom, but you get them on the big jobs. <laughs> and the good chaos. Whilst we've been pulling these two monsters in, another couple of massive Deweys and a red emperor come over the side. I could be wrong, but I think we found a good fishing spot. I reckon you should make a cup of tea. I'll have another drop. Uh, actually, <laughs> doesn't the apprentice make the cups of tea and go for the long mate, weights? Mate, look at me. I am the captain now. Tom, I need a long weight and a left-handed screwdriver. And hurry up. <laughs> we could do this all day. Let's catch more fish instead. In 1839, the HMS Beagle sailed into what is now known as Darwin Harbour. Lieutenant John Holt was the skipper, and they decided to name the harbour after their former shipmate, Charles Darwin. Contrary to popular belief though, Darwin never actually came to the area. I talk all the time about pad and because they're such a universal rig. Basically all you got is that loop in the line there, VMC circle which is looped in there again. And one of the most important things is the sinker on a dropper loop. And I love the fact that I can actually just do this, pull the sinker off, that loop comes out, 
then all I do is loop it back over the sinker, and that gives me the ability to change that sinker with the tide. Important, you don't use a sinker bigger than you need. So basically, just get to the bottom, but don't have a great big plonker hanging in the mud. Change it regularly. You can also change your hook, so it's a pretty good rig, versatile, and it catches pretty much any fish anywhere. Yep. That is, that is a big fish, mate. Oh. I reckon you might have another Jew. I literally... Oh. He ate it straight away. Hit the bottom, went to get the slack, and this thing just buckled. Well, I'm actually going to a soft oh. plastic. I'm trying to squidgy. But if this is a monster something, the squidge might be coming off, and I might be going back to my rod and reel, mate. Oh, he's taking strength. Oh. oh, mate. I am looking over the side with anticipation, oh. and dare I say it, bated breath. Oh, mate. There's some proper weight here. It was thumping hard at the start. It's kind of coming up a bit weird. Maybe a cod? Could be a big cod. Know. Maybe he's getting a bit of uh, air in him and starting to blow a bit. I'm too used to the Victorian waters. It's either a rainbow or a brown where I'm from. <laughs> I've got no clue what uh, this is. This is no rainbow, mate. Move around that way, oh. under me. It's big. I'll tell you what is big, the bend in that rod. They go hard. How good is it? Oh. Now, I'm I know gonna... I'm puffing and panning, but what do you reckon? 40 degrees over your pot? Oh, at least. We have fish, it's white, it'd be, I reckon it's a big Jew, eh? It's oh, white. please. No, it's got, it's got a, a bit of it's red. It's got a red tinge. I think it's a big red emperor. It is a horse, I'm coming down, yeah. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. Look at that thing. Look at the size of this. Uh, if you don't mind, umpire. That's a goal. A massive red emperor. Yeah. And look at the scar in the back there. Shows how tough fish are. He actually has a hole in his dorsal fin where something has bit him as a junior. Thomas, grab your fish, mate. Oh, mate, I'll leave that rod there. That is epic. I've got one word, Paul, can you guess? Um, how do you sum up best boss in the world in one word? I was gonna say stoked, mate. <laughs> that is a fish of a lifetime, I reckon. And uh, unfortunately for this one, I don't think it's going back. Well, as you can see, the bite is absolutely going off on bait. So Paul and I have changed tactics. I've got the squidgy prawn. He's got the squidgy whip bait. Let's see how it goes. Oh, Tom, that literally hit the bottom. I hadn't even had a chance to whip the bait. Look at the size of this thing. You know what? I might, uh, I might just keep oh. this up before you get in. Literally didn't even get a chance to whip the whip. And this is huge. You look like you're hurting a bit, mate. You've been skipping gym day. Uh, no, no, I know gym. He mows my lawns. <laughs> Actually, hands mows my lawns. Hansi Kanye turned 80 the other day. The great man. And he loves coming to my place near the lawns. That's why I love him so much. Well, I love him for all the other reasons too. Um, oh, that just did what I wanted to do. That this is, is a big. Big fish. This is actually ridiculously big. I've actually got a massive shark on a soft plastic. But hey, that's pretty cool. Artificials. Oh, he's come up to the top. Anything. They do. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm just going to stand over oh! here. Oh! 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 If you don't mind, umpire. That was a jumping, spinning, porpoising whaler shark. Look it up in sea fishes of Darwin and other waters. What is going on here, Paul? When you come to work with me, Tom, I said, I'll pay you really, really well, 10 times the award, but you've got to bring home the bacon. So I thought, no better opportunity, see if I could catch a beautiful fish on some bacon. Well, <laughs> it's pretty hot right now, mate. I reckon you might do all right. Oh, look, I just thought I should hand things up a bit. <laughs> I'm... Go the whole hock. Kill the pig. I have to work with this every single day. Dare I say it? Bring out the bacon. That was just too easy. <laughs> My reel will be smoking. And then when we catch them, we can go back to the pub and we can chew the fat. <laughs> I definitely got weight and I see colour. Should we call this fish the pole because it likes bacon? Absolutely, mate. Oh! <laughs> Best two things in life, fishing <laughs> and bacon. And I've just caught a barracuda. Oh, there's a bit of bacon still floating away. Oh. And that is a barracuda on bacon, if you don't mind. If you're wondering what fish this is, it's the one that ate Nemo's mum. Not cool, dude. Not cool at all. Oh, well, Tom, the bacon strikes again. I cannot believe you. After the barracuda, I thought you'd give up on the novelty, but you know what? Hard. You just never know. You want to catch something pretty cool, and it's fun doing different stuff. I remember catching flathead on potato chips in the bay when I was a kid. Now, what have we got here? Is it better than a barracuda? Oh, uh, oh Trevally? No. no. Oh, tricky! Hey. Now I tell you what, Tom, it might be a dad joke, but these things are pretty tricky to catch on the old bacon. Oh, and obviously, the sharks like bacon too. Look at that on his back. 
He got shark the way up and I was just lucky to get him out. Oh, that is absolutely smoke a squidgy prawn. Uh, about this, second lift off the bottom. This is a really, really nice fish. I don't think it'll be anywhere near as good as Barracuda on bacon, but we, well, we can all you know, come. We can only try to climb Everest. That's all we the, can aim. Aim for the stars, mate. Aim uh, for the top and see you going. Wow. This is a really solid fish. I can tell by the way it's actually taken that head back down. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. And that's, I just love artificial. It's like, I had two hits, and yep. if that was bait, I would have had no more bait. I've just dropped it back down. As I've released, it's just smashed. So much fun on this gear. It is awesome. I have to admit though, I'm feeling the heat. Oh mate, I cannot wait till we put some lures out and start trolling. Turning God's air conditioner on at about 10 knots would be so nice. Oh yeah. It has been an epic session. Like we literally have not stopped for the last two hours. Just fish after fish after fish. The and, boat. Uh, I think our cameraman behind the lens, Spurlo. He's sweating. Oh, I'm sorry mate. Uh, here we go. This is quality fish. It's a red of some description. A big nanny I reckon. Woo! It's a nice <laughs> nanny. Look at the bubbles coming out. Oh, and he's spitting up baits. Look at that, look he's at spitting that. up he's a squid. squid. He just spat up a squid from one of our oh. other anglers. Swing him over. And look at the lines oh, chase. Be careful on the lift. He had you in the reef. Tom Hughes, you're a lucky man. He, <laughs> look at the colours on that. And look at this, look at that. He had you in the reef, oh, mate. wow, look at that. Oh, wow. Wow, <laughs> way. You got lucky, brother. And you know what? I'm good to go again. That bait, still good to go. You know what? We will leave, but I want one more go on the bacon. No more goes. He's done. He's good. A short move and we're on the mackerel grounds. We're towing four impalas, two that go down 40 feet, one that goes down 20 feet, and one surface lure. There's generally a few mackers in this area, and our thought was better break up the trip home, have a bit of troll for half an hour, and head back into Cullen Bay. I know which one to grab, Tommy. Oh. Look at the. Oh, there's a good fish. Look at the dolphins out the back there. We were oh. just noting those beautiful dolphins, mate, and then three rods went, yeah, baby. <laughs> Tuna? Oh, nah, a little Spanish mackerel, but beautiful. How magnificent oh, is that? Oh, look on the surface. That is so cool. Yeah, Actually, I don't even know if it's Spanish. Yeah, it looks like a Spanish. Jump under me, Smurlo. We've still got a triple. That. Beautiful Spanish. Absolutely nailed that Rapala. You know what? Have a look at Paul. He's getting absolutely smoked. I'll leave this one here. Step aside. Do we still have a fish on here, though? There should be. Oh, thank you. And there's a beautiful little Spanish there. Look at him swimming along. Oh, nice Magnificent fish. fish. And to get a three-way, when the dolphins are coming past. That's pretty special, mate. That is pretty epic. They're not monster fish, but how hard do they go? That is a nice way to end the day. There's a couple Spaniards. Proper NT style. What happened to the other one, mate? Oh, it's just chilling at the side of the boat with my friend John over there. Well, we've got a bit of work to do, Tom. Yep. These mackerel, we can let them all go. But there's hooks, there's lures, there's lines everywhere. The dolphins are still going by. I must say, <laughs> one more dad joke. What's the purpose of that? <laughs> Tommy, Darwin, you like? Mate, been absolutely epic. Thank you very much. And you're not getting paid for today. No! <laughs> Our if you're a blue water charters, get into it.